Hello, hello. All right. Just testing the microphone there. I am Ultra Llama. And so we, I actually tried to play Fabregas, but he did not ever start the game as is typical with him. He's mostly looking to time people out. Um, looks like, so we're the Soviets, and we have a pretty monster hand here, unless he has Red Scare, and then suddenly it's no longer a monster hand. So let's look at our opponent here. Very good record as the Soviets. Um, more mixed as the U.S. So I guess we drew the right side, hey? That's another thing about the ratings, like, so... I'm, I, I think the rating system is pretty flawed, but this is another one. Is like some players play one side so much better than the other. So it's like, you know, you could be playing a 1700-ish type player if they're playing the Soviets, but then a 1400-ish type player if they're playing the U.S. I guess I should figure out what I'm going to headline, but I think it should probably just be CNS. Yeah, we'll go with CNS. Defectored! What do I want to do here? Gamble in Italy, and it pays off. I mean, we didn't get a 5 or a 6, but we wiped him out of there, so... We should be able to get into Italy first, at least. So why did I coup Italy there, rather than Iran? Um, because you all, if you've watched some of my previous games, sometimes I queue a Ron first. It's really kind of, I had a big four op. Um, there's nothing really, I mean, even though there's four ops in Italy, there's nothing else really protecting it. And I don't really have any like good cards uh, for the Middle East. So that is why I went with that move. I mean, I guess I technically have Suez, but Let's see. So I think this is a mistake for him to play into Austria. Uh, he should have played into France. So let's see what he, what did he blockade? He blockaded socialist governments. Okay, that makes sense at least. So I'm starting to wonder if he has a very weak hand, because this is a very strange way to start the turn with a one-op. Because you really, I mean, it's particularly on the first turn, I mean, I know some people want to save their ops at the end of the turn, but particularly on this first turn, you really... You, if you've got a big four-op, you want to play it. Particularly because he's got blockade in his hand, so he doesn't have to worry about me sort of throwing out blockade at some random point. So we're just going to go ahead and set up in Europe. Um, I like if my opponent gives me France, I'm always going to take it. Uh, it's not always possible, but definitely doing it here. So Arab-Israeli war, that goes my way. We're having pretty good luck so far. The last two games I played, I had terrible luck. But this one's going pretty well this far. Let's see. I think instead we're going to space special relationship. So the great play deck Twilight Struggle Theorem, if you roll high, you will always roll high, and if you roll low, you will always roll low. So I should have thought of that, since I rolled high on my coups. Naturally, I was going to roll high on my space race as well. So that's weird that he played... He played Nasser, but he didn't coup with it. I'm just going to go ahead and play into Libya. 
I'm not sure why he didn't coup with Nasser there. And I have no incentive to coup because I've got all the mill ops right now. So here he goes with the belated coup of Egypt. But that was a mistake because it allowed me to get into Libya first. Let's see what we got out there. All right. That was going to be tricky. I really would like to get European domination. But I also don't want to allow him to just coup. Libya with no consequences. <laughs> So we're probably gonna have, we might be sacrificing European domination here. So let's take a look at his hand. Yeah, he we'll see what he has on this last action round, but it's a pretty weak hand so far. He could be holding some big four op though. Indo pack. So yeah, overall a pretty weak opening hand for him. So technically I could headline D star here. Only argument against it. Well, yeah, we're gonna headline these stall. <laughs> uh, I don't like to waste my D stall ops, but in getting those four extra VPs is very, very tempting here. Does hurt me a little bit in Africa though. We're gonna do it though. Question is should I play long game or short game? I'm gonna play long game. Though now that I rolled a six, I wish I had Coot Egypt. Part of the reason I cooed Panama was just because uh, I didn't have to roll as high to get him out of there as I do in Egypt. If I'd known I was going to roll a 6, I definitely would have gone for Egypt, though. Or maybe Iran. Iran would probably have been a better pick, but yeah. We're probably going to have to score our Middle East negatively. Maybe not, though. We'll see. So Europe scoring though was a smart move by him. He just got unlucky that I had D stall there, because normally that's um, that's not gonna hurt him at all. In fact, that's a really smart move to avoid domination. So I think my opponent's played pretty well, other than that first action round where he played Blockade. He probably should have played Comic-Con instead of Blockade there, and uh, 
gone into France, but otherwise I think he's played reasonably. Um, he's just had really bad luck. I haven't been having the good luck in this one for a change. I'm not going to complain about that. So we are able to get into Libya, which is good. It depends what he does here on what I'm going to do, because the big priorities are to space NORAD and to score Middle East if we can at even. Or actually, I guess it's negative one, but still, that's not too bad. And so things we got to watch out for, he could potentially have Truman. Ugh. He's really going to require me to use these ops, isn't he? I could technically event marshal if I had to. I prefer not to, but... I could just plug up Spain and uh, Turkey. All right, we're just going to dump off Middle East while we can and try to space NORAD here. So one of the advantages of the Panama coup, so, you know, I debated Panama versus Egypt, but another advantage is that he can't, like, make a sneaky move into Colombia at the end of the turn now, so I don't have to worry about throwing as many ops into South America. So I said long versus short game, but there's even some short-term benefits, but, I, but I'm thinking like basically it protects South America a little bit more in the long term. So he spaced and missed. We are having pretty good luck though. We'll see if it lasts. Um, I've definitely had games where I, I've had like spectacular turn one hands and I thought, man, I'm going to win this game easy. And then nine straight hands of awful luck. I'm sure you've, you've all probably had those before. They're really frustrating. I know every, anytime I have a good turn one hand, I'm like fighting myself. Like, oh, this, this is going to be great. And I'm like, no, remember all those games where you had great turn one luck, but every other turn was terrible. So, yeah. It is weird he's not continuing with this crap. Crap, crap, crap. He's suggesting he's got... Truman here. I really don't want to invent this, but we're going to. So one of the reasons I don't like eventing Marshall is because it takes Europe control situations, or it makes them much more difficult. But right now, even though I have a shot at Europe control, it's not necessarily my best path to victory. Europe control is always a bit tricky. And it's more like a desperation path to victory. <laughs> if we can just win on VPs, that's that's much better path most of the time. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and make the sacrifice with Marshall. Um, hopefully that prevents him from pulling any tricks with Truman, but we'll see. Now, weirdly, he did not play into Turkey with Marshall. I wonder if he just overlooked it. But I've got to feel pretty strongly he's got Truman now because that move was just weird if he didn't have Truman. And he headlined super, super fast. Does that mean he's got Asia scoring? I mean, he could, but it's not for sure. I really want a headline decal, but he could also have defectors, which he headlined on turn one. Uh, 
Decal would be an extremely risky headline here. Because I really need that African access. But he was super quick on this headline. Cross our fingers, hold our breath. Wow. <laughs> That's sort of a weird one that he, uh, I don't know why he was so quick to headline that, actually. <laughs> all right. Well, ends up being all a moot point. What are we going to coup here? So I can five year plan Middle East if I have to, or if I need to. I mean, it's not like a huge deal. It's only one VP right now, but I'm not really in bad shape anywhere. So I'm not like too terribly worried. So getting it out of my hand could be pretty useful here. I can't remember. So he had, he must have had CIA, right? So CIA could come back out. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna five year plan Middle East. All right, so he's definitely trying to set up in Asia here. Now, I might have to cede Asian domination to him, so I guess that might be an argument for holding five-year plan. But really only if he has it this turn. So he has, oh, he's in really bad shape. He is in really bad shape now. Yeah, this one, 17 VP deficit for him right now with me being ahead in the mid-war regions is pretty bad. I mean, if he doesn't, that, that's almost making me rethink whether I want to hold a five-year plan because Asia could be a bit of an issue for me. I think I'm just going to go ahead with my five year, my five year plan plan. But it is more debatable now that he's got a shot at getting Asian domination. So let's see, is he still holding Truman? He is still holding Truman. That's interesting. There it is. Oh, I wish it had been Asia rather than Middle East, but that's fine. Everything's fine. So we're going to have a 19 VP lead unless he has something like Indopac right here. And my inclination is to overprotect in Asia. So this could end up being a steamroller. We'll see. 
But then again, it might not. I might say all this and then someone mounts an epic comeback. I've certainly come back from 19 VP deficits before, particularly as the US. Like, it's tougher to do it as the USSR. I've had a few I've done as the USSR. But uh, much easier to do these big epic um, turnarounds as the US. Though he doesn't have a very good position to do it because I am so far ahead in the mid-war regions right now. Though I do have CIA, which makes me very happy I got rid of five-year plan. That was part of my thinking. And then again, I have Brezhnev. So if he doesn't have defectors... I think we're going to play the short game here and give him NORAD. Because we're only one VP away. I really don't want to give him Yasuri. Well, no, you know what? Let's give him Yasuri because I still have the China card. It's not that huge of a deal. Ugh, that sucks. So I can't complain too much about my luck this one because I've had the lion's share of the luck. I really don't want to play Nixon plays the China card with his 19 VP lead, but I think I'm probably going to have to. I definitely have to space CIA, and I don't really want to play NORAD. I guess it's possible I could space two things. Also, I have how I learned, so if he goes the whole turn without cooing, I think I might just be able to sneak in the victory that way. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get our South American control. The one thing that makes me a little reluctant to space is that he could have one small step. Unlikely, but possible. And every time I think something's unlikely, it always happens. So there's that. I have not been doing a good job being Ultra Llama, have I? Well, he's going to flip Africa. Well, that ruins my uh, f uh, how I learned to stop worrying plan. We're probably just in it for the long haul, aren't we? I'm just gonna go ahead and space. So I'm definitely gonna have to play Nix and I gotta give him the two VPs. So close though, so close to having those 19 V or those 20 VPs for victory. Hell, maybe I should have even considered playing the China card into, um, what is that? Burma, Myanmar. So he's probably got Africa scoring now. So we're not going to be able to run off the steamroller win, I don't think. Nope. Damn it. So close. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal because I'm ahead, but this game can flip really quickly. So suddenly we go from 19 to 13. I still feel like we're in the lead pretty firmly, 
but I hate to give any player an opening to win. <laughs> So we'll hold NORAD. And so that definitely makes me know I made the right decision on the Surrey NORAD one because I wouldn't want to give him, if this ends up being a longer game, I definitely don't want him to have NORAD. I think I might take Costa Rica next. The interesting thing is he's not really in too bad shape anywhere. So this this game, if he gets Kennedy or just a really lucky R man in Tehran, um, this could go to the late war. Even though I was up by 19 and looked like I was in such a secure position, it could conceivably go all the way to late war or even final scoring. All he has to do is pick up something to cancel out South America or, you know, maybe get a big brush war. Uh, ABM's already gone, so that's out of the question, but maybe Junta. Or in fact, we're probably going to try to protect a little bit against Junta here. That's part of what I was doing with Uruguay. Not much I can do about that. All right. Of course, he could also have South America scoring right here, and then the game would be over. So you just never know with Twilight Struggle. Just a lot of random elements here. Can you handle the llama? He's only got two cards. Well, I guess he can play the China card as well since I gave it to him via Yusuri. Uh, so don't tell me he's gonna break Asia. Nope, he's not. He's gonna play into Europe. Probably a mistake. I think I would have rather broken Thailand there or something like that. Well, now I can play NORAD. I mean, really, we already is about the only headline. I guess I could headline. No, I can't headline Quagmire because I want to play Norad. That's right. All right. So it's either We Will Bury You or Willie Brandt. Huh. I think I'm going to go with Willie Brandt. It's only one VP instead of three, like We Will Bury You. But it does set me up a little bit better for a Europe control scenario, which is pretty unlikely, by the way, at this point. But but I'd rather have those four ops from me will bury you as well. And leaving we will bury you in the deck has some advantages. So, I don't know. This one's debatable. I definitely think it could go either way, Willie Brandt or we will bury you. It's... The difference is probably going to be negligible. I mean, the only big thing, like if I run up some more points, more VPs, and I'm too short, then I'm going to be frustrated I didn't play We Will Bury You. But otherwise, it's not too huge of a deal. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to Kuzair, though. It's 
almost comical because there's seven ops in it. What else could I conceivably even coup? That's very unlikely to succeed. Could coup Mexico. Let's go for Mexico. I guess it doesn't matter when you're rolling ones. There's no wrong decisions when you're rolling ones. Space races Lipthy. That's interesting. Huh. To worry about missile envy so let's see what do i do here maybe we just go ahead and get rid of kitchen debates while we still can So, I could still lose this game. It's, I'm definitely the favorite, but because, you know, if he finds a way to not deal with South America and it goes into the late war, then he's potentially got scenarios where he could trap me with CIA. So that's one of the ways I could still lose. Let's go ahead and event EEU. But certainly, I am a huge favorite at this point. Asia's a bit of a weakness. Even though it's technically tied, he really has the advantage there, right? Yeah, so. But Europe and South America are big advantages for me. One thing, so one problem I do have right now is I have both NORAD and, or that's right, I can, never mind. So I screwed up in my head. NORAD's not a problem because I could just play Quagmire, that's right. <laughs> I, I'd actually prefer to play Quagmire towards the end of the turn, but I don't think that's what I'm going to do because I don't want to get to the end of the turn and have him play um, have him play uh, bear trap So we're going to try to hold Kennedy. But it's possible, you know, we could be forced to event it at some point. Which should be a big problem for us if he has South America scoring. All right, we're just going to go ahead and play Quagmire. We're not going to get too fancy here.
we're so far ahead in some places. It's just all I can really do is just overprotect things. <laughs> I guess that's a nice position to have. All right, let's see if we win the game here. Let's see if we win. Does the game live on another turn? Can Yi Ji Young pull a massive comeback? Or is it going to end right here? I feel like this could be a place where he has Southeast Asia scoring, because that would be anticlimactic. Nope, he has a big four up. Good thing I overprotected everything in Asia. I got everything double overprotected. I definitely had the better luck. You don't get double overprotection unless you have the better luck. Okay, we got South America, so this game... And I got Brush War. And I've got OAS, so this game is probably going to be over soon. Now, he probably does have grain cells, so we'll see. He's going to have a hard time, though, flipping any of these South American battlegrounds. I don't have a good headline, either. I guess I've got a headline brush war. I don't see anything else to headline. don't really want to, but he's got Junta, which is actually even worse. He might... No, no, I think with that, that's... Even if he succeeds, I think I'll have five VPs and it's game over. So, a bit of a steamroller. Maybe a delayed steamroller. Because it still lasted to turn six, but... I clearly had the better luck. Even if he'd been like an elite player, I think I'm still winning this game. So what is this? Yeah, that's the game. Alrighty. Alright. Don't know if that was the most exciting one, but thanks for watching. I am Ultra Llama! Uh, keep checking out more videos, subscribe, give the thumbs up, whatevs. Do whatever you want. Bye bye.